Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. We are still here in Concord, Massachusetts at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Jason and Aubrey are here for the conclusion of Authors Month here on A&J Vlog Factory and we are paying a visit to Ralph Waldo Emerson. He was an author. He was a poet. His family was a repository where the Unitarians obtained their ministers, most of his forefathers and even his own father and finally he became a clergyman. However, the death of his first wife soon after their marriage soured his faith and he resigned emerging as the leader of the Transcendental Movement. He stressed a lifestyle of a personal nature over a rational or dogmatic favored trusting one's instincts over the guidance of authority. The philosophy was based on his was the basis of his writings, essays and poems. Emerson started an star started and edited The Dial, a transcendental uh, journal. He also lectured often on his subjects, messages resulted in the publication of essays, and finally his most famous self-reliance. He was productive for about 40 years, publishing his thoughts and philosophies in the forms of essays, journals, and poems and sayings. Tragedy continued in his life, married for a second time. Their first son, Waldo, passed away at the age of five of scarlet fever. Towards the end of his life, his home burned down. Friends paid him for travel overseas while they secretly rebuilt his house and library. Arriving home a year later, he was speechless and overwhelmed and graciously accepted living there until his death. Emerson became old, frail, and forgetful, developed a cold while walking coatless and hatless and rainy cold conquered in April, which developed into pneumonia and at the age of 78, he died. So this is a whole Emerson area. So all of these are his descendants. Um, we have his wife right next to him, his daughter next to him over there. Um, we have all other descendants facing the other way. Um, and this is chained off, so that's why I can't get any closer. Um, well, let's take a walk around. But and, we'll take uh, a walk around. And show the Emerson um, clan. And Emerson was very influential on Henry David Thoreau. Who happens to be just a few steps away. Yes. Um, so he really is the one who encouraged Thoreau to go back to nature. And I'm just walking. carefully walking around. <laughs> it's not the the most uh, stable ground. Well, it is an old cemetery. Especially when you're one-handed. There we go. You've got two hands. So we've got, yeah, but one of them's holding this. We've got Haven Emerson, Helena Titus Emerson, Julia Titus Emerson, uh, William Emerson, Francis Emerson. So all family members of Emerson. And Ralph is the only one <laughs> Got a photo bomber. Ralph is the only one with the big quartz uh, over there. And he is on Arthur's Ridge in Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Concord. Um, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. As you can see, he kind of looks out onto the whole cemetery. Definitely stands out. And yeah, his big rock definitely stands out and is different compared to the rest of the stones. So this is just it's a bit of a hike to get up here. But if you like uh, good classic American lead, it's definitely worth your uh, and meandering. getting back to nature too. All right. So with that being done and said, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us to on today's vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Authors Month here in Concord, Massachusetts. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we will. And this is Jason and Aubrey. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.